so this is the uh, this is the board out of the 756 Pro 3. You can see the relays here. So it's uh, RL102, RL102, which is this particular one here, this one. You can see it on the board. I'm not sure if you can see it. There we go. Turn around. RL102. This one. Just got to come out. And uh, a new one put in. I said it's um, it's a double-sided uh, circuit board, so it does make it awkward. So I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the solder first and see how that goes. Um, but I'll probably just end up just cutting the top off the relay and then just removing all the insides and removing each pin individually. So as to not damage um, uh, the the uh, traces that run underneath the relay here. Okay, so the uh, I've removed the uh, relays, as you can see here. Um, we too, as you can see, this really um, thin track here. Well, you can see them; they're really thin, like hairs almost. And um, one here, really thin. Obviously, I didn't want to damage those, see. Um, trying to uh, mess about removing solder and pulling up the uh, relays and whatever. This is the 6 dB uh, attenuated relay. This is the 12 dB attenuated relay. So, as it is, they're both going to be changed now. So um, that's probably the best way, to be honest. This is all original. This is all original um, ICOM soldering. This is. You would think it'd be, it would be better than that, but no. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit more. So there we go. Steady the camera. So this is uh, original ICOM soldering. This is. I said you would thought it would be better than that. I mean that that solder joint uh, there hasn't even flowed properly on that pin, as you can see. So these are the ones I took out. Uh, the relays I've taken out. So we're just going to pop the uh, new ones in. So the uh, new relays are in. There we go. So this is um, this is lead-free solder. This is uh, some of the uh, lead-free solder I've got from over there. Um, this particular one is nice and. Uh, oh, we can reach over and get it. It's quite thin. It's like uh, um, it is quite thin compared to 
let's see. Let's have a look. Uh, this solder I tend to use, so you can see it's quite a bit thinner. So these are lead freeze. Uh, those are lead free. I do tend to like uh, this sort of uh, solder though. It's a bit thick. You can see the difference between it. I like this um, solder though. This is a tin lead solder. Tin lead. But um, as the as this board would have been um, soldered up using uh, lead free in the production, uh, I've used lead free again. So those are the new relays um, in place. So there we go. We're just going to uh, pop it in place now. Get the uh, Get the radio, the 756 Pro 3, put it on the bench, make a bit of room. Uh, put it on the bench here, plug the uh, board in and give it a go. So I shall be back, I shall be back shortly. So we are going to Pop the board back in. So make sure there's make sure there's nothing in there. Okay. Let's pop a couple of screws in. Not sticking. Not sticking. There's a couple of screws in there just to hold the board in. I'll put the rest in once I've, uh, once I've connected it up. Just want to try it, make sure it works first. Always check. This 
so I can out of uh, here. Okay, pop the uh, ribbon back in place. Uh, let's try it. Let's uh, zoom out a bit. Connect the uh, lead from the signal generator. I can't remember if we were on antenna one or antenna two. So I've, um, I've uh, turned the radio over and um, it's connected to a signal generator. We've got the just signal generator set for S9 um, uh, with a uh, one kilohertz tone. So we'll see what happens now. Okay, so it's uh, it's basically S9. So we'll try the six dB attenuator. Okay, uh, the 12, okay, and um, both of them together are 18 dB. There we go. So the antenna is off, so we'll put uh, six, we'll put six dBs of attenuation. So there we go. So six dBs should be, allegedly, uh, one S point. As you can see, that's dropped down to an S7. So none of these meters on any of these radios are actually accurate. Or the antenuator is not an actual 6 dB antenuator. So if we go to 12 dBs now, that's adding another 6 dBs. So that should go down to about an S6 uh, then, if it's on S7. But we go down to just under an S5. So yeah, the meter is... Not consistent either that or the antenuator that is not a 12 dB antenuator and the two antenuators together the 6 and the 12 gives us the 18 dB antenuation so that's 18 dB of antenuation there and that's off so it looks like it looks like it's uh, it's working okay so only thing to do now is to um, put the uh, shield in back on there's a couple of uh, metal shields that go underneath. There's a metal shield that goes on top here as well. And um, I'm gonna clean the power amplifier. That's really, really dusty. So I'm gonna clean the PA section.
and the fan while I'm here. So there's a fan here. The PA section is uh, really dusty. So uh, I'll clean that all out and um, put it back together and my mate can have the radio back. So the uh, Pro 3 of my, of my buddies uh, is back together. All cases and everything are back on it, as you can see. So we'll turn it on. And have a listen. So I'm on the uh, 40 meter antenna. I've not put my beam back up since we had uh, all those high winds. So I'm on the 40 meter antenna. So let's go down to um, 40. Let's turn the attenuator on. Not much of a difference. So we've got a noise floor of about an S6 on this radio. And turn it on, takes it down to just uh, over an S4. A 6 dB. 12 dB. Someone's right next to him. So there we are. It's the uh, Pro 3 back up and running. So uh, thanks for watching.